Well, hello, you wokey cokey mother farters. How are we today? I'm okay, thanks for asking. And I hope you're well too. And if not, that's poo poo. And this is the last video of the Halloween period, except for a retrospective collection of reviews for a certain vampire game that will be released on Friday at the end of this week. So for the video today, it is Silent Hill Downpour. You know, one of the non-Konami made, flushed out the toilet, outsourced, it was made by Vatra Games, published by Konami, released in 2012, and it says it's a survival horror, but no, it's not really. It's just a horror action game at this point. I've got like 14 med kits, and I'm a good number of hours into the game, okay? Alright, I've got it on easy. I'm not playing this and anything else, and I'm really, really glad I chose to play this game on easy. But we'll get into that in due course, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about is... The story and narrative of the beast. Story is, you're a prisoner. Your name's Murphy. I thought it might have been about Robocop, but it turns out it's no, it's about some wank that's in prison that has a dream about stabbing some fat guy to death, and that's actually quite hilarious. In itself, just the way everything moves, is just like, is this a serious horror game or is it a fucking Muppet show? And then, BOOM! It's a, it's a dream, oh, it's wonderful, haha. <laughs> We're just teaching you the mechanics of the game. Aye, okay. So I'm playing this through the Xbox Series X backward compatibility, right? But you can also play it on every other Xbox apart from the original uh, PS3 and PC, I assume. But I'd, God knows what the PC version's like. I shudder to fucking think after playing this one. Aye, then you're getting transported somewhere else. Bus crash later, you're, and then you're just sort of running around the countryside. And then a copper shows up and she tries to shoot you. But she's no very good at her job because she falls. She falls down. And then you run away, and what ensues is probably the longest jaunt to Silent Hill in the history of video games, television, and the universe. The game takes far too long to get to Silent Hill, and it feels more like an Alan Wake game. I was just thinking, well, going, fuck's sake, man, I'm going through mines and forests and forests and mines, and then there's a fucking minecart ride, and it's like it's the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, it's just like. Fucking Alan Wake? Wait, wait, where's Silent Hill coming into it? Wait, where? Story's pretty slight though, so thank God for small mercies. I can't tell you too much because it ruined it, but I don't really think it's worth saving, to be honest. It's kind of shite. You find out he's got a son at some point, and then he just shouts his name. I don't know what's going on, actually. I don't really give a fuck either, to be quite quite honest. It's uh, it's just pish, really. Too busy focusing on everything else that's going on around me, and it's like... <laughs> Just going, why is this like that? Why is the game been designed this way? Why, 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 why? Did the fucking devs even play a Silent Hill game? Time to talk about game mechanics and designs and all that shit. Let me be very clear here. The combat is what I would like to call rusty pish. Okay, it's fucking terrible. And the design of the enemies so far, I have thought. What looks like to be some sort of lanky, gangly, hairless ape thing. Hairless ape thing, monkey goat. It looks like the, if you've ever seen Alien Resurrection, that is, it looks like the last alien, you know, the one that comes out the queen's belly and crushes her head. The one that's got no nose and a fanny for a face, aye, that thing. That eventually gets flushed down a toilet or something like that, I don't know, it bollocks, hate it. Looks fucking stupid and it's a pain in the hole to fucking fight because it can go in the ceiling and just swing down and whack you one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what else have I thought? Oh, yes, zombies. Lots and lots and lots of zombies. And that's it. No, wait. A guy with a big hammer that's... I think he's taking the place of Pyramid Head, but he's just literally a big tall guy in a trench coat with a gas mask and a hammer. I'm sorry, there's nothing about Silent Hill that screams zombies to me. I actually said that round the wrong way. There's nothing zombies that screams Silent Hill to me. Nothing. The guy with the big hammer, fair enough, but he just, he looks so plain. He looks like a liquidator for fucking Chernobyl. I'm like, is this... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Is this the best we can do? Is this zombies, mate? Fucking zombies. And then there's police cars that you have to avoid. Because they... 
They see you, and then Everton goes dark, and then they drop off zombies, and the car disappears into thin air. Oh, God, I think the enemy design in the combat is probably the worst part of the game, and it's the biggest part of the game. It's the thing you'll do the most. Puzzles are okay, and you'll get some chase sequences with a big floating arsehole that tries to suck you into it. It's not very interesting, in fact... I'm actually getting sick of the arsehole sucking monster. Real tired of it. I've fought it about four or five times. Well, I say fought it. I've ran away for it. I've run to the fucking hills. Gonna need fucking therapy after I finish this game. Just to get the taste at my mouth. Jesus! But the town looks quite nice. It's a lot more open. You can explore and find things. And there's like birds in cages you can set free. And there's side quests as well in the game. Which I quite like. But it's like... That's just more of this game in it, and that's I'm not really trying to fucking string this out because it's crap, and but I can't stop playing it. I don't get it, but I'll tell you something. There's more to certain hell than just some fucking foggy streets. There's rain as well, and it does rain in the game. But well, it is called downpour. If it didn't rain, fucking money back. Do I mean money back? Now the soundtrack's no bad. Some of it's no particularly silent hell. It's just like generic horror. Wonderful, yeah, just... And then uh, you get some of the sort of Silent Hill sounds. It's, I, I fucking just can't really remember what a lot of the soundtrack sounded like. Because I guess a lot of it's just monotonous, homogenised bollocks. Plenty of weapons in the game, although the guns are absolutely fucking useless, so don't even bother your arse with them. Uh, the weapons degrade, uh, but there's no real way of telling how much life a, a weapon's got. You don't see it in any inventory, you just pick it up and... As you're holding it, it's the only place you'll see it, so it'll just randomly snap. Good thing is, though, I was using like, a sledgehammer, so this will go for the longer ones with the wooden handles. The top eight snapped off, but I still had the base, so I could still stab them with the, the, the pointy, sharp wooden bit. Stab them. Jesus Christ, this combat is fucking awful. There's a block button, but a lot of the, the bigger enemies will just troll right through that, so you need to try and avoid them. It's just... And you get four or more of these wee fucking zombies about you that they'll just... They'll fuck you up, they'll kill you in seconds. It's just... Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You do get a cool effect of when you become injured. You'll see it on your body and then you'll use a... A health pack and... It'll like sort of heal itself and all the blood will suck back into the hole. It's quite cool, quite cool, eh? It's quite cool. It's not worth buying a game for, though. I don't think this game is worth buying. It is a lot of poo. I mean, it's. I can really see why there's not been a Silent Hill game since this. And where does the the remake for two Konami? Why are you sitting on it? And then why are you releasing something as shite as Ascension? Are you trying to bury it again? The good points of the game is that there are some bits that are quite atmospheric, and I go, oh, I quite like that bit. Then you're brought back to reality and realise you're playing Silent Hill Downpour. The actual quality of the game, though, the performance is fucking dreadful. I think they were just too ambitious with this game for the the actual machines they had at the time that's me being honest it, it runs a wee bit better on the on the series x or xbox one whatever but it stutters like fuck and it it doesn't just stutter it stops i can I, a micro stutter doesn't bother me because it only lasts for like a nanosecond but this thing can fucking stop for a couple of seconds and you're like what the fuck's going on and that camera, if you get backed into a corner with enemies, good luck to you. Because I was almost sick. You know, one of people get motion sickness playing this. Aye, this is this is pure shite, I'm sorry. I don't recommend it, even if you're a die-hard Silent Hill fan. Enter this with extreme fucking caution. Because anybody that enters Silent Hill downpour might as well abandon all hope. All hope. And to anybody that loves this game and think it's great, I fundamentally don't understand you as a human and a sentient being. I don't get it. You're going to have to actually explain this one to me. Even though I can't seem to stop putting it down. But I really do like Silent Hill. And there are a few moments like I say. Once you get into the town. It's more Silent Hilly. But it takes too long getting there. The puzzles are annoying. You Some of the fucking things you'll need to like solve a puzzle. You can walk right by it. Because the levels are that dull. They're that dark and cluttered. Good luck fucking seeing it. And I walked by a cord that I needed to fix a lift. About a million times because it was this tiny wee thing. Tiny wee black line amongst a dark grey background. Wonderful design, folks. 
I've been Craig's. I'm not happy about this shit. See you later. We can extract a war from the Devil's Pit in 1860. This subterranean railroad was built.